I covered more square feet than traditionally. I didn't have to worry about moving the lift around and doing all the crazy stuff. It's a beast. It's a workhorse. I'm like, forget traditional, man. Like we're going full bone drone cleaning here because there's no better time than the present to be a cleaning drone pilot and to get in into this game because it's not oversaturated right now. You can find your own space inside this industry and, and, and make plenty of money and, and, and do your thing. So when we started this journey, I mean, we were low revenue, right? We'd, we'd been around for a while, but uh, we were probably, you know, two-man team, $150,000, $170,000 a year. I would say implementing the drone, the first year we had probably a 20%, 20 to 30% increase because we were actually using it as a marketing tool. We were getting bigger jobs and, and more of them because people thought it was the coolest thing they've ever seen. So fast forward to now, we're, you know, in a three-year span or so, we went from 150, 170 to approximately, you know, half a million roughly right now, slated next year with the growth that we've already done and, the, and more marketing and drones and all that. Our 2025 slated projection, we're looking at, you know, almost two million in, in quoted and projected work for, for next year, all, all based on the drone. So, I mean, the drone is the reason, you know, we've cleaned for Johnson & Johnson, Domino Sugar, the Space Needle, all these all these big projects that we do is purely because of the drone and taking that leap of faith in getting into the drone business with, with you guys. It saves, you know, 20%, give or take, you know, 5%, uh, depending on what you're doing. It's manpower, lift rentals, you know, the speed in which we can finish to get to another project because the old adage of time is money is 100% true and that's what we save it because we I mean we don't have that fixed cost of, of a lift we don't have to go shell out five grand for a lift this isn't a magic pill this isn't a you know one-stop shop fix all you have to be willing to learn adapt innovate you really need to have some some cleaning knowledge you really need to have drone knowledge and you really need to have the finances to do it the biggest thing is is can you purchase it outright and not hurt your working capital if you can do that go for it you really need to be in the two hundred thousand dollar a year range in my opinion to to purchase one now on the caveat to that is i would not purchase one and then go straight into a job because there's a huge learning category there's a huge buffer right there that you need to go through and it's going to take more than a few days to learn how to fly this thing successfully and safely so that's where i think you know partnering with companies in your area that currently have a lucid drone or or can help teach you some things with it or, or, or having a consultant or something like that. The drone cleaning community is so small and so niche that, that we're willing to help each other out. It's not like a cutthroat industry as of now where we're just gonna like, screw you. We want other pots to succeed because yeah. you know rising tides raises all ships. So humble yourself, ask for help. Uh, your first couple jobs as a, as a new pilot a new cleaning company with it, you're probably not going to make the money you want because you're going to have to hire somebody to help you. So your first couple of jobs, you might as well chalk it up to, you know, a learning experience and, and be okay with not making enough money those first couple ones. And I promise you, it'll it'll pay off. It'll pay dividends because what you should do is go sell more. Go present it as, you know, you're buying one or, you know, you know a company that has one that can, you know, test the waters and see if there's interest in your area for drone cleaning. The biggest thing is talk about the drone, talk about the drone, talk about the drone when you're trying to get new clients or you you have the drone in hand. For people to think they're gonna buy a drone and instantly be handed this, this business because they have a drone, uh, they're a fool. Uh, you still have to work it and do it and the drone is a differentiator that separates you from everybody else, that gets you in the conversation. It's the hardest thing you ever do in your life is scale and grow your business. The people that have done the biggest things, they don't sit here scared of the what if. They back themselves into a corner a lot of times, it seems, and they have to fight their way out. So anything worth doing is not easy. Uh, for your go-getters, hustlers, the guys that want to go do it, you could pay this thing off in one job if you want to. I mean, if you land a big enough job, I mean, we've got, you know, in the month of, October, we're looking at about $250,000 worth of work. So if I wanted to buy a drone, I could literally pull that into a job that we already have and not really blink an eye because the margins in this business are so, so well. You could technically pay for it in one job if you, if you, if you landed the right job. I'm a big proponent of don't put it off because, you know, you never know what tomorrow's going to bring and, you know, just, just buy one and go try it. If you, if you can afford it, buy one and, and try it. There, there's plenty of support and success that could come. Uh, come your way. You just have to be willing to 
to, to learn it, maybe even pay for it, and, and, and figure out the hard knocks.